Good afternoon, family of God. In Hebrews 3.1, Christianity is called a profession. The Greek word profession is the same word as confession. It says, therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus. This word confession means to say the same thing as God says about our sins, our sicknesses, and everything else included in our redemption. Confession is simply believing with our hearts and saying with our mouths what the Word says. Paul said in Romans 10, 8 through 10, what does it say? The Word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the Word of faith which we preach, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The Holy Spirit said through the Apostle Peter in 1 Peter 2.24, By whose stripes you were healed. So we are to believe and say the same thing. When we agree with the Word of God, God watches over that word to perform it, Jeremiah 1.12. Our confession is faith's way of expressing itself. We are to believe and confess the word of God before we see the results. Our confession comes first, and then Jesus, the high priest of our confession, responds. Faith is acting on the word of God. I encourage you to confess the scriptures. Find the promises that apply to your situation. Then plant them in your heart by meditating on them and then speak them out of your mouth. Believe it or not, we will never rise above our confession. When we confess God's word, it sets us free. But every time we confess doubt and unbelief, We confess our faith in the enemy's ability and deny the ability of God. Proverbs 6.2 says, We are snared with the words of our mouths. We are taken captive by the words of our mouths. When we doubt God's word, it is because we believe something else that is contrary to that word. 1 Peter 4.11 says, If any man speak, Let him speak as the oracles of God. In Ephesians 4.29, we are commanded to speak only that which is good to the use of edifying. I exhort you to act, speak, and think according to the word of God. I love Philippians 4.8-9 from the Message Bible. It says, Summing it all up, friends, I'd say you'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. I exhort you to hold fast your confession of faith in God's word. This is what Hebrews 4.14 says, Having then a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. This is the confession of our faith in the redemptive work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hold fast to the absolute integrity of the Word of God. Hold fast to the confession that says, Surely he hath borne our sicknesses and carried our diseases, and that by his stripes we are healed. (laughs) God's word says that we are to believe and say the same thing in his word that he says. Give God's word first place in your words. Believe the word, even though you have evidence against you. 
God's word is higher than the science of our bodies. It changes our symptoms. Agree with what God said and you'll choke off saying the opposing stuff. Well, God bless you guys. If you were encouraged today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. Thank you and God bless you.